the icing is fine. Uh, the icing is not going to change the swelling. Okay. You know, the icing is purely for sensation and how it feels. Okay. If, if you don't, you're not really experiencing a lot of pain, right. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Use it if you want, but this swelling is just because this leg has been in a dependent position for a while. Yeah. Um, you know, and so you get that kind of pitting edema in there. And the coloration looks good, the temperature looks good, like, there, there's no real concern. Yeah, I, I had, a, excuse me, a home care nurse uh -huh. and they weren't concerned, you know, yeah. the temperature. So Dr. True, Barb and I, and, and Mike a little bit, he said, I think you're all right, but to be safe, I'll leave the ultrasound, which is glad of Yeah, I always get it ruled out. So we're at 47 centimeters, right on the dot, okay. right now. What I want to do, now I don't have the normal wraps here, I've got them at the other clinic, okay. but I would definitely encourage uh, some compression wraps with the, the six inch wide ACE wraps that are real kind of soft and comfortable. You probably don't have any at home, but that's okay because I've got two at the other clinic. Okay. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to use these wraps. Okay. They're not the right wraps, but they're what we have. So, uh, 47, 47. Try and remember 47. that because I didn't write it down. Okay, I'm just going to back this up a little bit. So, right there. But and, you kept saying, hold your feet up. Well, you can't do that for, for, for So, feet. when, because I, I, I like this topic. When I research the clinical data on elevation, specifically for swelling so this is a little tighter than you're gonna wrap it at home okay. um, but we're not gonna do it as long you know so I'm gonna have this on for like 10 minutes or so um, but when you look at the clinical research on elevation you have to be flat on your back your hip has to be at about 45 degrees like my what? Hip? hip at 45 degrees or higher Below that, you're really not going to get any benefit. So like a wedge, laying on your back with a wedge and the knee bent, you're not going to get any benefit really from that. Um, it's good to do, it's better than nothing, but at the same time, it's just not going to give you the, the dramatic change that we're looking for. So when I wrap, when you wrap in the future, um, you're looking for about a 50% coverage. So you see those three lines, yeah. right? So I come around okay. about halfway. And it's just a spiral. And ideally, you're going to bring it all the way up, at least above the knee, uh, maybe even higher than that. So where do you, you said that I kind of lost track of the spiral of the, the separation. You're going to cover about 50% overlap, okay. every okay. single layer, just okay. spiral. Okay. You don't have to go tighter, you go the same um, compression okay. all the way up, but it just naturally will funnel that fluid up. Okay. And so, like right now, this would not be considered obviously elevating the leg, because the leg is below the heart. Right. But the compression and the gradient of that compression is going to help. So if somebody had to be in this position, this would work. I'm going to get you to use the recliner. We're going to recline. But before you do, just hang on one sec. Right. So got a bunch of moving parts here. So I'm going to get the leg rest out. And you can lay back for me. Go ahead and push that recliner back a little bit more. Go all the way as long as you feel comfortable. Let's see if we can get you. Yeah. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up. Right there. <laughs> it didn't hurt or anything. It just sounded like it wasn't going to. <laughs> so to put it in perspective, this still is not 45 degrees. Right? So this still would not give you a noticeable benefit. But because we have the compression on there, and it's day one and we're just kind of getting the ball rolling getting you started this is a good place to start how does that compression feel at this level you know i, I mean I'm a, i don't notice that much. 
So that clock on the wall is at 75.30. I'd like to get 10 minutes in. Okay. I know it kind of feels like a little bit of a waste of time, you know, because you want to get moving and we'll do all that stuff. But I'd like to see if we can get some of this fluid moving back into the system. Okay. Um, just because, I mean, it, it is, I'm going to try and sneak this in a little higher. It is a little bit more than I would like to see. You can just relax. See if you just totally relax. Even if the toe rolls out, that's fine. I'll kind of adjust. How does that feel like? Compression. And, and just positioning oh, and yeah, everything. Okay. It might get a little throbby. You might feel a little bit of a heartbeat, you know, in the toes. It, it's nowhere near too tight that I'd be concerned for 10 minutes. But when we take it off, we should see some improvement. So you just relax. Okay. 